Hey guys, it's Brittany from Tickled Pink and Primary. I'm here to show you how to add some sound or music into your PowerPoint slideshows for your fluency and fitness games. Okay, so to get started on adding the sound, I need to go to the first exercise slide that I see. And then I'm going to simply go to Insert, Audio, then Audio from File. And then I'm going to search my music. And I'm going to use the Katy Perry song, Roar. So I just inserted it. Now I'm going to drag it up to the corner just to make it look a little bit better. But I'm going to show you how to hide that as well so it isn't showing when you do your slideshows. So you've got your speaker up here in the corner. Then come over here to where it says Start. I want it to start automatically. The playback options. I want to hide that icon during the show so that way it's going to go behind the slide. You can loop it so that it continues to keep playing throughout the slideshow, even when the music gets to the end of the song, and rewind it after playing. So I'm actually going to select all three of those. And then what I need to do so that it only plays on the exercise slides, I need to come over to Animations, and I'm going to click Play. And then come on over to the right here where it says Start. I want it to start after the previous slide, which had a sight word on it. And then my transition slides had about 10 seconds for the exercises. Um, you know, you can do 20 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever you want to do. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put 10 seconds here for now. All right, let's preview it. All right, so you can see that after the 10 seconds, the music stopped, and now it's going back to the sight word screens. So what you're going to want to do is just simply select this, and then I'm going to copy it. by On my Mac, I use Command-C to copy it. And then I'm going to come to another exercise slide, and I'm just going to paste it. Go to the next exercise slide, and paste it, and so forth. And so this way, all of your exercise slides will have the music to them, but your sight word slides or your number slides or whatever the fluency and fitness is, those will not have music. That way you can hear the kids say the answer and they aren't getting distracted by the music in the background. All right, I hope this was helpful to help you guys add your own music and sound. And thanks for understanding that I cannot add the music um, to commercially products that I'm selling without paying a fortune to some of these artists. So I just kind of wanted to give you some tips and tricks on how to do it for your own classroom. All right, thank you. If you don't know how to find my fluency and fitness bundles, you can go to Teachers Pay Teachers and search for my store, Tickled Pink and Primary.